Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, Pippi, for another episode of our Alpha Sapphire Evolution Let's Play. This is episode 11. I'm not exactly sure how the editing is going to go for this video. I was, I had started playing, we were talking, I was going along the route, and then the game just exited. The program just exited me out to the home menu on my DS, and I have no idea why. I have no idea what I did wrong. So, um, it didn't say my progress, obviously, so I have to start all over again. Um, which, which is fine. We didn't get that far. Um, we didn't get that far. We were just battling random trainers. Um, but yeah, sorry about that. Um, I'm just all combobulated right now. So, uh, I don't even remember all the stuff that I was telling you. Uh, one thing, uh, for sure, I know I mentioned, uh, the previous episode, episode 10, didn't have music. Um, because when I was recording, I didn't select the correct microphone in order to record the music off of the DS. And I didn't notice until after I'd already finished. Um, so sorry about that. Hopefully the music will work for this episode. Uh, fingers crossed. And also hopefully, uh, the game doesn't do that again. Like, I know I was running out of battery power and I plugged in the cable. And so my first thought was that maybe... You know, I plugged in the cable to the DS, and so the first thing I checked was I checked the wall unit to make sure the, the charger was actually plugged into the wall, and I was like, maybe the DS just turned off. But no, I don't, I don't know what happened. I don't know if I, like, um, nudged the game cartridge or something. I don't, I have no clue. I have no clue why that happened. Um, I just stunned and, I don't know, there are no words. So I'm connecting, um, connecting to the internet because I really want to do the secret base thing and find other people's secret bases and like get some friends in my base. Um, but the game is sort of like conspiring against me like it's not really a good point in the game to do it because the most of the secret bases that we have access, that we can see on the map are in the desert area up here and we don't have the goggles yet. So I wanted to go through uh, this cave Cool, I got a pearl. Uh, that's better than last time. I just got a geodude. I wanted to go through this cave and go back to Fall Arbor because there is a single base there. Um, I just did this and I should have remembered that he was there. Um, I don't know. I just, I feel all sorts of messed up right now. Um, it was just really weird. Ah, oh, I don't understand. I don't know, you guys. I don't know. So I have to fight all these battles again. I, it's the same animation glitch that happened before. Like, what? It, like every time he uses this attack, when Glowin uses Fiend Attack, like, half of the time, he, like, goes through the Pokemon. Um, it's just really weird. That one's a little bit better. All right, so we're gonna do this. Oh, so what I was talking about is, um, so my, my plan is to get evolution stones from the secret base, uh, which is an involved process. And I was thinking like, we can't really control what stones we get, but like, if we could, what evolution would we wanna do next? And I was saying that because we're an Auras and a lot of the Pokemon are water types, especially we haven't even gotten to the water routes yet, a Jolteon would be amazing uh, for the team. Um, but on the other hand, our next upcoming gym battle is with Flannery in Lava Ridge, and she's a fire type trainer. So it's like, well, maybe a Vulporeon would be good. Uh, granted, we'd have to train a level 1 Eevee all the way up to a point, you know, level 20 something. So that would be less fun. Uh, but it could be good. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to run from him, because I'm, I'm so over this. I'm so over this. I already did this. Um... So I thought that would be good, but like, once again, we don't really get to control um, which stone we get, and that's uh, Jolteon. Oh, and then Flareon, and I'm not really a huge fan of Flareon, um, to be honest. And Flareon is kind of goofy looking, but it's, it's an option, and those are really the only three options we have right now. Um, then we'll have seven, and then the eighth is Glaceon, which we have to wait until we get up to that cave. Um, so I don't know, I would just like to get to a point where we have all the evolutions and they're about so we can keep rotate them out and, and maintain them all at sort of similar levels. 
I can sort of swap them out based on what gems we're fighting and just what mood we're in that day. Because all the evolutions like have, you know, they each have their pros and their cons. Um, dude, I just switched out! <laughs> I just switched out. I want Feely. Come on, man. Don't do this to me. I'm going crazy. Snarl. Uh, all right. So that's fine. We can handle a special attack, attack drop. We're just gonna demolish you. A super effective Swift. Yeah, that's right. Because Fairy dominates everything. I don't hate the fairy typing at all, but it is kind of overpowered right now. <laughs> like, I think it was supposed to counter dragon type, because dragon type was like sort of overpowered. But you know, dragon type is still really powerful, not because the type itself is powerful, but just because so many dragon Pokemon are just have high stats. You know, give me an ice type Pokemon with high, like good, useful stats and make very type weak to ice, and you'll see. So this is our, um, I just went back. That's our base. Um, we're in that tree house. Oh, is there one over here? I know sometimes there's a secret base up here. No, couldn't get that lucky. So we really only have one option for secret bases right now. And that's in Fall Arbor for like, I think. We could go through the meteor cave. Ugh. Don't want to fight wild Pokemon right now. Spin back. This is a weird ass Pokemon. All right, we're running from you too. Sorry. I just want a secret base. This will be so much easier when we get. I don't want to fight you. I want a secret base. I don't want ugh, stupid ninja kids hiding in their freaking dirt. Oh, cool. Uh, I'm trying not to be impressed by your three Pokemon and shit, but cool, cool on you, bro. Let's bring out Owen. Come on, Owen. Owen doesn't have really, really strong defense. Um, takes a lot of damage. Oh, you're gonna poison me right off the bat. Mm, okay. <laughs> I wish we could poison coffee, that would have been nice. Alright, we're gonna... Psybeam. Come on, Owen, you can do it. Stupid ninja kids. All I want is to go into the secret base and get a friend. That's all I want. I just want Future Sight. I hate Future Sight. Future Sight takes two turns. Mm. It's a two turn move. We're gonna get rid of Quick Attack. I don't really imagine myself using this move ever. Maybe like in a double battle or something. I don't know. I, I hate two turn moves with a burning passion. Coffee, we're gonna stay in. We're going to stay in. Poison sucks, but we can handle it. Alright, what's your third Pokemon gonna be? Another coughing? A wheezing? coughing again. Oh, you have no variety. I mean, I I completely sympathize with having a favorite Pokemon. I'm doing an evolution run, but you need to branch out. Three coughings is just... It's not, not gonna get you anywhere at all. <laughs> wow. Okay. That was literally a waste of time. Literally. Ninja boy. Oh. Really? I thought there was a secret base on this route. I thought, ooh, that's because I reset the game. Oh, okay. So before, when I when I when I had gotten my secret base contacts, there was a secret base on this route, but now there's not. 
And I forgot to check. There's, a, there's one on Route 14, though. Alright. That's still... That's still one. It's better than the... Oh my god! Why didn't I fight all these guys the first time I was here? When I came with Brandon. I don't want to fight your freaking Aaron. We're like 10 minutes in and... I like literally retracing my steps to get to the stupid secret base. See, the stupid animation is still... So, on my team, what's good against iron? Nothing, right? Oh, hi, Ziggy. Because Fairy is actually weak to iron, and... Yeah, nothing else is strong to it. Um... Where is that Huey? Really, you're just gonna roar, roar me? All right. Well, shoot. I can't remember if he's gonna resist it completely or. Okay, no. It's not bad. It's not very effective, but it's effective enough. All right. Holy crap! Let's get out. Let's uh. I guess we have to go heal Owen because he's poisoned. I am so done with these random trainer battles. Holy crap. Oh, wait, more trainers, more trainers. Holy crap. Avoiding the trainers. All right. Pokemon Center. If this secret base requires Surf to get to, I'm gonna flip my lid. I'm gonna flip my lid. I'm gonna be so freaking pissed. Cause I'll come all this way literally for nothing. All right. The secret base stuff is so much easier once you have Soar and you can just go to any freaking part of the map that you want. It better not be in this freaking... Oh my god, it is! I can't even access the secret base yet. <sighs> part of me wants to just turn the game off and start over and pretend that this never happened because... All I want is to access somebody's secret base. That's all I want. And... Oh, wasn't meant to be. Ooh! Okay, this is cool. Our egg's hatching. Oh! Where's my list? What should the next nickname be? It's, uh... Feely, Kiwi, Owen, Glowin... I think... Biffer is next, right? Where's my list? Boffer is next. You are gonna be Boffer, unless you're female. <gasps> you're female! That changes everything! Uh, you're gonna be Snow. If I have more than one female Eevee, I'm gonna be surprised. But I said the first female Eevee was gonna be Snow. So that's what we're that's what we're doing. So in case you missed it, the joke is Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Uh, there are eight evolutions, but it's sort of the same thing, and they're the, all the dwarf names from The Hobbit. Um, and so far we have uh, Feely, Keely, Owen, and Glowen. She, that was going to be Boffer, but she turned out to be a girl, so I named her Snow. So. Um, yeah. Do, 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 do. So freaking mad. Oh, uh, see, if I, could, if I had my goggles, I could go down there and get stuff. I have to go through this cave. All I want is to do secret base stuff. What I enjoy the after game of Pokemon a lot more than the actual storyline because I, I really like to do what I feel like doing and I really hate 
you know how in the main story you're locked in to like a very specific path and you can't deviate or go in other directions or do things out of order you have really you have to do things in the order that the story dictates which is really constraining because uh, I've played the story before. I, I want to go off and do other things and get to the story when I feel like it, you know? Um, you really need a, a open sandbox version of Pokemon. Um, by the way, speaking of open sandbox, have you heard about the Pokemon Go announcement that came out earlier this week? I am very excited about that. Very excited. Um, I know it's not going to be as like epic as it looks like in the in the trailer because the trailer you know has all of these like giant holographic Pokemon just battling in real life that you can see with your naked eye, and I I know for a fact it's not going to be that cool, but I'm really happy about the uh, ability to finally be able to catch Pokemon on your phone and battle people with your cell phone because most of my adult friends played Pokemon at one time or another. And most of them don't feel like they have time to play all the new Pokemon games that come out. Giga Drain! Yes! And also I have a lot of friends who used to play Pokemon, but they don't play Pokemon anymore because they're adults and they're like, we're too busy. But if they could put Pokemon- and also they don't want to buy a new DS because, you know, you have to buy a 3DS to play the new games. And they're like, eh, no thanks. But if they could play Pokemon on their phone, they would totally download Pokemon on their phone, especially if it was like a super basic game that didn't take a lot of time. You just caught Pokemon randomly when you felt like it. That would be cool. I'm not switching, I've got Giga Drain. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. I'm a little nervous about the fact that it's gonna have microtransactions because what that means is the game's gonna be free to play, but then if you want the cool stuff, you're gonna have to pay for it. So, um, there's a lot of ways that that could end up being, leaving a, a, a bad taste in your mouth. You know, like, I want to catch a lot of Pokemon in Pokemon Go, but if they're going to charge me any amount of money at all for Pokeballs, I'm going to be pissed. But that's the main thing that I need in the game to even play it. So if you're going to charge me money for Pokeballs, or for potions, or for healing at all, I'm going to be pretty pissed. Now, I could see charging extra money for cooler looking pokeballs like you know like a dive ball or something like that it's, you, you don't need that but if they charge money for the regular pokeballs or ultra balls i'm gonna be pissed but i don't want to switch <laughs> I, i'm like totally getting the two buttons mixed up um so yeah but i'm really excited um for that to come out and i'm sure the the pokemon go plus the wristband that goes with it Looks like it's going to be almost essential to the gaming experience for the game, and I'm trying to guess what that's going to cost. I'm guessing somewhere around fifteen or twenty dollars, um, but who knows? I'm sure they'll announce more details pretty soon. Um, it's this is definitely the time of year for. Uh... Why I don't want to have a battle with you? This is the time of year for. Pokemon spoilers. This entire episode is going to be me being upset and rambling and nothing interesting is going to happen and I'm very sorry about that. I apologize. Deeply, from the bottom of my heart, I wasted 15 minutes of your time trying to find a secret base that I couldn't even access. See, he did it again. This animation for Fan Attack is totally, totally glitchy. Watch. He goes straight through the Numa when he attacks. It's gonna bother me every time I see it. I'm I mean, I wasn't planning on keeping fan attack very long anyways, but now I have a further incentive to get rid of it. Hell yeah, I'm gonna switch. Matchup, I wanna introduce you to a friend of mine. I should turn the experience share on so that Snow can gain levels. But I really, really don't want uh, to overtrain everyone. I think I'll wait. I think I'm gonna box her and pull out another egg. And then once I've hatched a couple of eggs, I'll like have a bunch of little EVs and um, do some experience or grinding to level them up once I have a bunch hatched. Because the only reason I have the egg in my party to begin with is so that 
when I randomly on a whim catch wild Pokemon, they go into the PC and not into my party. Uh, because that, that kind of thing just bugs me. Ooh, Pokeball! Guard spec? I'm never gonna use that. I'm literally never gonna use that. Because I could sell it. Uh, this is the one we want, right? I would buy um, lemonades and fresh water and stuff from the vending machine if you could buy multiples at a time. It's really annoying to sit there and buy them one at a time. Now we get to watch this wonderful cutscene. Oh! Mount Chimney is one of my favorite places to Dex Nav. So many cool Pokemon are in Mount Chimney. My all time. Okay, so I, I can't use any of the other Pokemon that aren't Eevees for this Let's Play. But you can catch a Vulpex here! I love a Vulpex! Oh my god! I'm gonna have to catch one. It doesn't matter if I can't actually use her. I, I need one so bad. So I'm sure I'm probably supposed to go bother those people. Maybe? I don't even know. I feel so lost right now. All right, Drensum. Oh, it's Team Magma and- Ooh! Team Magma and Team Aqua are deucing it out. I'll just let them be. All these people are fighting on their own and they're gonna completely and totally ignore me. So... Or not. Ugh, impudent fools! You Team Aqua Curse dare to impede the great Maxi? I'm just, I just like, rolled all right through their battle. We of Team Aqua are working hard for everyone's sake. Like, if there's more water around, a water Pokemon will be happy, and it'll give people more fun places to swim. You want there to be more water than there already is? You realize how much water already covers the earth, right? I think we've got plenty of water. Alright, so we've got more dark and dark magic. I really need to put, um... I really need to put Feely on the front of the party because all these... All these assholes are gonna have, uh, Puchianas. Or Carvana, which is part dark, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure he starts out always having a dark typing. Alright. We're gonna swift you to death. Yep, we're doing this. Okay. Let's uh yeah, let's let's change the order. Grimer. Uh I'll switch only because I want Owen. Oh, I think you guys are so high levels. You're both level 25. Oh, my husband and I got in a little bit of an argument the other night because we were watching this top 10 worst shinies video. And according to the guy, the number one top worst shiny is Shiny Espeon. And I don't agree with that at all. Espeon shiny is a little strange, and it's not the color I would have picked for a shiny Espeon, but it's a really respectable green. And most of the green shiny Pokemon are lame, because they're like a puke green, and they look all sickly and gross. But shiny Espeon actually is not a bad green color, at least in this generation. Um, there are so many other Pokemon that have worse, worse shinies. Um, Great ball on it, not bad. So, I mean, just off the top of my head, Pikachu. I hate all the shinies where you can't even tell they're shiny. Pikachu is definitely on the top of that list. Did you follow us all the way here from Meteor Falls? Ha! Well, hey, good job, kid. Okay, I admit it. You're quite the trainer. And, to Archie, me, all of the Team Aqua, your existence is annoying. The world Archie dreams of would be a utopia for Pokemon. I can't let you get in the way of someone who's pushing on toward a perfect world. Prepare yourself! This will finally be the time that I leave that cute face of yours swollen and crying! Really? Um, but I think the worst shiny for me would have to be, like, Dragonite, maybe? Although, Dragonite already is a disappointment as an evolution to begin with. Um, I can think of so many other shinies that I like. Less than Shiny Espeon. I 
just uh, it just makes me itch whenever I think about it. You know, I tried to be all smart and put Keely up front and guess that everyone was gonna have dark types and then she led with a freaking Grimer. Not unpredictable, but just not what I was going for. Oh, I avoided the move. Pokemon and me. Pokemon and me. I don't mind if I do. Come on, really? <laughs> That is so lame. Don't poison me, don't poison me, don't poison me. Alright. How's this battle thing going? Carvana. Yeah, this is what I'm here for. This is what I am here for. Did you see how fast the hit the hit point bar just went? <laughs> wow. Okay. Level twenty six. What was that? I don't know. What was that? Stand up straight. Uh, are you telling me you've upped your game even more since last time? You're a brat with a bright future. My Pokemon and I don't have any strength left to fight. Go on, go and be destroyed by Archie. I don't mind if I do. Hey Archie, what's up? Oh, we have to go do this. The great swell of power that seeps deep in the magma. And it's the key of controlling the super ancient Pokemon's power. Ah, you. Uh, no. Oh, now I know who you are. You're the little scamp that got in our way in the Slateport's museum. If you made it here to me, you must have swept right past Shelly, huh? Heh 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 ha 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 I figured you were a big deal the first time I laid eyes on you, but voila! Heh <laughs> heh. Well, since you're the real deal, I suppose I could let you in on just what's going on. See, this meteorite that I just got from good old Professor High and Mighty back there, with the right bit of work, it seems we could turn it into a real nice, valuable bit. Like maybe a megastone. Or maybe even a keystone. As long as we're here at Mount Chimney. Hey up! Bwahahahaha! Look what I nearly went and did! If I give away all my secrets, all the thrill will be gone with our relationship. I think I'll just leave you hanging here. Well, it's not the details that matter any old how. We've got a thing we gotta do, you see? From our point of view, Scamp, you're a dirty villain who's gotten in our way one too many. I'm still leader of Team Aqua, so I'm afraid it's the ropes in for you and your Pokemon. Now come! Dude, you are all sorts of confused if you think we have any kind of relationship. I don't know what's going on in your head, but the little fantasy you've got going? Yeah, it's not real life. Sorry, bro. I knew you were gonna have a Mighty Anna. I knew it. Feely is gonna walk all over you. Reaching for my tea and it's empty. So sad, I need more tea. <laughs> so easy. Sharpedo. I do like Sharpedo. So cool. I do enjoy a sharp video every now and then. But we're gonna make sure it works. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's right, because Feely has all five hearts and Pokemon I mean. He does get an experience point bonus, so that's why he levels so much faster. Rollbat. Do I want to switch out? Yeah, I don't want everyone and their mother to like... Feely's like three levels higher than everyone else. Come on, Owen. Gotta catch up. Psybeam. Beam. 
Nice. It's just really convenient to have someone that's super effective against all of your opponents. That's why it would be really nice to have a Vulporeon before we battle Flannery. Really just sweep right through her. We'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> you little scamp. I knew you were the real deal. Brilliant! Then my team won't hold back this time. Mega Evolution, how I've missed you. It's been ages since we let got to let loose. Are you battling me again? Tch. Scamp, I'm gonna have to ask you to hold that thought. I've gotta use my time out. Huh? That you, Matt? You have the worst timing. What? Ho! Oh, so Mount Pry is the real... Got it. Guess the orb's not just some fairy tale after all. Alright, I'm on my way. Sorry, scamp. When you're a grown-up, you see, sometimes things crop up. Gotta put our battle to on hold till next time. Take this. Should keep help keep you busy till we settle the score. Have fun with it, hey? He's gonna give me the meteorite. Okay. Let's meet again somewhere. I'll be sure to remember that face. Alright, so I was a little premature on my excitement about going to Mount Pyre, but we'll get there soon enough. I've seen you before, child. It seems you're not to be trifled with if we repelled Archie in battle. What is that fool up to now? He abandoned the meteorite that he sought so persistently? No. Could it be possible that he has confirmed the existence of the orbs at last? Ugh! Again, I find myself outmaneuvered. What a terrible miscalculation. Hello. <laughs> Everyone just left me here. All alone. Oh, hey. Nice. Uh, hello. Incinerate. Fun. Alright guys, I think I'm going to wrap this episode up right here, and uh, we'll see what we can do in the next episode. Wandering around Mount Pryor, maybe make it to Lava Ridge, we'll see. I'm not sure exactly what we'll be doing, but uh, we'll be doing something fun. So if you enjoyed this episode, uh, despite all of the bumps that there were, please don't forget to hit the like button on your way out. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, you can subscribe and then you'll get notifications when new episodes go up. Once again, I am trying to get episodes up on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, kind of in the morning-ish. But, uh, you know, things happen, so if there's, you know, a change in the schedule last minute, you want to keep up with that, subscribe. You'll find out the moment the episode comes up. You can also uh, check us out on our Twitter page. Uh, our name on Twitter is also space underscore whale lord. And uh, with that, I'm going to let you have a good day. Bye.